What if I told you you can't see anything right now? That's because we need light to see. Light travels from an object to our eyes, but it doesn't happen instantly, especially in space. Did you know that every time you look at the sun, you're seeing it in the past? That's because light, despite being the fastest thing in the universe, still takes time to travel. So, how long does it take for light to reach each planet? Buckle up, space travelers. This is going to blow your mind. First stop, Mercury. It's the closest planet to the sun, so light gets there in just 3.2 minutes. That's faster than making popcorn. Next is Venus, the hottest planet in the solar system. Gets its sunlight in about 6 minutes. Just enough time to send a quick text if you had signal on Venus. And here we are. Earth, sunlight takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach us. So, if the sun suddenly vanished, don't worry, it won't. We wouldn't even know for over 8 minutes. Next stop, Mars. If you were standing there watching the sunrise, you'd actually be seeing light from 12.6 minutes ago. Talk about a delayed sunrise. Now we're getting far. Sunlight takes 43 minutes to reach Jupiter. If you could text someone there, they'd get your message almost an hour late. Blame the space Wi-Fi. Saturn's sunlight is almost an hour and a half old by the time it arrives. 79 minutes to be exact. If Saturn had life, they'd be watching an hour old version of the sun. Next is Uranus. Now we're really talking distance. Sunlight takes 159 minutes or almost 2.5 hours to get there. That's longer than a soccer match. Last one is Neptune, the farthest planet, gets its sunlight after 4 hours and 10 minutes. Imagine looking up and seeing a sun that's already 4 hours old. Time travel is real, sort of. Now let's flip the perspective. What if an alien near Neptune looked back at Earth through a super telescope? They wouldn't see you now. They'd see Earth as it was 4 hours ago. And if they were even farther away, say 50 light years, they could see someone being born today, maybe even your birthday. So every time you look at the stars, you're looking into the past. Who knows, maybe someone out there is watching our past right now.